I always check first, of course. Gotta make sure I didn't mess something up. Ooh. Okay. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's see. Is it encoding properly? It's encoding properly, look at that. Yes, okay, we're good. So, to work. I have the LSP docs in front of me, and I have a whole two hours to copy and paste from them. <laughs> so, that's gonna be fun. Hmm. Oh, and yay, I think that's posted. Cool. So we're on all the avenues around the Zig Discord stream channel. I think we're promoted by Susie. Yeah, that's all good. Cool. So welcome back to another stream, you know, another evening stream. Um, let's get to work right away. <laughs> no pleasantries tonight. Um, because today Benjamin is here. Hello, Benjamin. How you doing? Today we're copying and pasting pretty much. Um, that is going to be the entire stream. So, you know, <laughs> we're talking chat because I will not be doing much. Um, because we have a lot to copy and paste. We have a lot. Um, yeah, I'm just, you know, it's a lot. So let's get to work on that. Um, also, what the heck? Hello. It is 6.57 PM. Um, here go. Yes, so we have 3.17. By the way, I'm using 3.17 as a spec because it is literally the same thing. There's no changes. Um, except, um, like, hot links work here, right? Like, that works. But it doesn't work if I do this. It does work. Okay. Um, hello, Travis. How you doing? How, how is your morning, evening, time of day going? Um, so today's a copy and paste stream, pretty much. Um, the idea is we have these beautiful LSP docs. Um, unfortunately, okay, there's no machine readable spec for LSP. Um, why is that the case? I don't know. Um, but it, that is the case. So, um, oops. Yeah. So by the way, some cool changes. I, I should really demo this first since before, like, I dive right in. Um, well, okay. This all works now. Um, I think we were, we finished off at like this right here. We finished it like at Parsim, Paramsify, um, which was using some cool JSON hacks that, uh, Travis proposed, I think, and let's do propose as well. Um, go for my nap. Ooh, naps are great. Yeah. Um, pretty enough, like I slept like five, six hours last night and I'm not tired at all. Um, so, you know, tomorrow's a school day, so it'll catch up to me probably, <laughs> unfortunately, but hey, um, Naps are great. Uh, so yeah, we have Parsim, Paramsify, and I implemented a few things, right? We yesterday, yesterday we had um, initialize and did workspace change folders, right? Um, we have all of these. Um, initialize, did open, and completion. Um, and what that means is we have a working demo. So this is really cool. First thing I did right away is move some stuff to the server.zig file. It's going to handle some things for you, like the write and read buffer and reading requests and stuff. Um, so it's like not too low level, not too high level. It's reasonable. You still have good control over this, as you can see. So that is pretty cool. Um, and of course, why? What, what, you know, what would be cool about showcasing code if you didn't, you know, run it? So I'm gonna build it and run it. Uh, oh, what's going on here? No, oh, that's what's going on. Okay. Also, I should do this. Ah. Um, and so I can just run this. So press F5. That'll open the LSP extension uh, I created, like really. I, I just stole the ZLS VS code code and just like changed a few things. And so now, as you can see, I'll go over here. We successfully complete the initialization thing. We only provide a single feature, which is completion, um, wherever that is. I hear completion provider. Um, and that is literally all we do. And when completions are requested, we return a single completion, Joe Mama, um, right here. And so if I look at the log series, you can see 
it works, right? Initialized properly, returns initialization, uh, handles initialized, then handles did open, and of course, look at that. Completions. So that is pretty cool. Um, and of course, like complete it, you know. Hope oh, that crashes though, because we don't have a did change implemented yet. So, you know, there is a lot to implement and also a lot to re-implement. Um, because I should close this. Hello? Okay, we're good. Um, because unfortunately, ZLS um, like has some weird type signatures for the LSP stuff. Because um, we like kind of decided that, you know, if we're not going to use the LSP feature, why implement it, right? Except here we're making a generic LSP library. So we have to implement every LSP feature. Um, and so I'm going to have to manually re implement everything from scratch. Um, so cool. Okay. So I think ordering this will be interesting. Um, what I'm planning on doing is just ordering it like just in order, right? Um, just going down. Also, commands. Interesting. Hmm. ZLS does not implement any commands um, with LSP. It only implements commands with uh, VS Code. Um, so that'll be interesting. I think this might be, and this is not a new thing, actually. We just don't do this. Interesting. Hmm. Cool hack potential right here. Um, text edit. First changes. Okay. So what I'm going to do is implement all these generic types first. Uh, and then I'll implement some requests. So that's a lot of that's a lot of things. Um, so the requests are here somewhere. I have to find them. Holy crap! Hello. So like most of these docs are just like type definitions. So that's weird. Just like okay, actual protocol. And this actually includes protocol information. See so initialize and stuff. Then I'll go in order. Um, that'll be pretty simple. Let's get to work. Um, oof, that's a lot of stuff. Okay. Oh, that's a good question. I should totally upload that. Um, what I did is literally just, I ripped off CLS VS code. Um, uh, but here, I will publish this right now. Um, that is a good question. If I knit that, and I will make a repo on my own personal Git uh, hub. Wow. Moment of silence there. Welcome to the stream. I'm doing programming. It's going to be fun. So here, I'll make a program in here. But yeah, thanks, Travis, for asking. <laughs> I did not think of that. Um, all the extension is is just a ripped off version of ZLS VS Code, except I replaced ZLS VS Code with Joe. Um, yes, hello. Welcome to the stream. Oh, repository. Cool. So of course, let's call this Joe VS Code. Joe Mama Completions everybody cool and let's hope that it doesn't you know this is good calling chrome theme you mean the pink yeah i, I love the pink it's gonna be nice okay i chose pink because it's, it's like it's a light and easy color i like it <laughs> joe mama will be nice too i know <sighs> joe mama was pretty nice last night How's everyone today? Well, I'm pretty good. You know, how, how, how I think, yeah, so Travis said earlier that he woke up from a nap recently, so like, he's pretty good, I think. Um, I think Ben is eating dinner or something, I don't know. He's doing Chicago things. Oh. I'll just get, oh, that's the wrong thing. Oopsies. Get a uh, dot. Get commit. Show. That is everything, and then I'll just push that. Here you go. Have fun, Travis. Uh, go crazy. Also, this, the settings are for this. Um, so I can't speak. The setting for this is Joe.path. Um, so just inst so just do like okay. Um, clone that, open it in VS Code, and then just press F5. Just npm install and then press F5. Um, and you should be good to go. Yeah. Also, I, I didn't change the readme. Crap. 
<laughs> Hopefully people don't get confused as the actual ZLS VS code, then that'd be kind of funny. Um, Sancho VS code. Pretty cool. Try it out. Nice. Tell, tell me how it goes. Um, by the way, just you can open up the test file. It's just... I'm staying there, right? Oh. Oh. Oh, my lord. <sighs> One second. <laughs> I know what the score this is because, uh, Yeah, Lumi, <laughs> welcome. I know you, because, um, you know, I'm not gonna, like, reveal any information about you anyways. <laughs> um, oh, my train of thought has been, has been com combobulated. What am I looking for? No, 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 no. Josephine? Really? What is is her nickname Joe? Wow. Mm-hmm. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, I mean sure, you know. If it's something I want to do, like I always ignore her shit. Wait a minute. Okay, so background story for my stream viewers. Um, I do TA Java, a Java class at my school. Join my bestie. This is this is a Joe Mama joke. It's a ploy. It's a ploy. It's a ploy. Watch it. Watch it. No. 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 This, this is. A, uh, I should not have themed this extension after Joe Mama. It, it's gone. It's gone too far. Gone too far. But hey, you know that was my fault. I, I'm taking taking the fall now. Um, okay. Bloke got... Who's Joe? Yeah. Yeah, I knew it. Okay, you know... Thanks, thanks for sticking around, Bloke got... Um... Yeah, clearly. Can't believe this. Also, wait, I'm still lost. What I was doing? What was I doing? Yes, I was going through the docs. Oops. Right. I was going through here. Yes. That's where I was. So is that an excuse? It is not. Honestly, thanks for trying by the in the chat because I am just bored as hell right now. Reading these docs, these are so mundane and dry. Also, oh no, that is nasty. So, weirdly enough. What? Wait a minute. That is hilarious. So, I'm a... Okay. So, Mr. Super, really, you have? Are, are they good? Are they any good? Also, I'm in the wrong place. Oops. I'm looking for requests. Okay. See, I'm, I'm, I'm going to implement the cancellation, uh, Mr. Super. Just call me August, okay? It's, it's in my name. My name is August. Also, you know, if you have a GitHub, you know, I gotta plug myself. Follow me on GitHub, you know. Uh, oh my god. Okay, let's go. I have to implement cancel params. Oh, no. Oop. Oop. What's going on here? Public constant cancel params. You know, struct, that's how you spell. Right. Mr. Super August. Okay, that, that works too. First name Super, last name August. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Cancel params, which is literally just an ID, which is a type ID. Uh, common request ID. Cool. So that's it. Um, next, we should also really hot link this and add the comments to it. Cancel request, notification message, blah, blah, blah. It's all the properties is sent. Uh, just dot. Okay. <laughs> okay, goodbye. Have fun tormenting someone else. Also, I just one line these, hey. Um, so then we have progress support. Um, 
Interesting. Progress bars, okay. Huh. Also, I just realized I can remove this. So, okay. Design decision. I put these things here, right? That's nasty because you have to like re-centralize them and stuff. That's bad. So what I can just do is move these down here. Um, one by one. I'll do that right now. Oh, 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 no, okay. This is what I call mad hacks right here. This is not what you should be doing in Zing. Um, but hey, so I think it's slash cancellation. Oh, uh, is that right? It's, oh, wow, that was completely wrong. Okay, no. Slash cancel. And what I can do instead of um, doing this horrific hack here is I can just access the def the declaration, right? So what I can just do is heat that by. Also, I could include the type. Hmm. Okay, I, I can really, like, I can just do this. I'm going to do that. Let's do that. Um... What am I looking for? Right, I'm looking top for method. So method instead of being method name will just be declaration method. So just, uh, I think it's field. Really enough, to get declarations, you have to use field, which is weird. Oh my god. So left-hand side is going to be my type. And right-hand side is going to be my method. Let's hope that works. Um, okay, initialize. Hey, Travis, do you know how... Wait a minute. So are private constants accessible in file or in struct? Question. I think it's in file, but I'm not too sure. Um, if you're not too busy testing out my cool Joe Mama extension, Travis, of course. Oh. Const method initialized. Okay, have fun playing Deltarune. Deltarune is a great game. Okay. Text document did open. Put that in here. Oh, that's not right. There we go. Then we have completion, my completion params. Oh, crap. Oh, okay. That's fine. I'll make it public. It's fine. Also, that means I have to manually re implement. Oh, you know what? It's fine. const method equals <laughs> the amount of text document identifier position request is insane i have to manually fix those all yeah thanks for the information though travis because i need to do that oh method the const method Look at that. Oh. There we go. So that's cool. That should be all of them, I think. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's it. Um, and of course, I have one more to change, which I think, I think is... Yes, this one right here. Cool. By the way, these are not at all structured, so I have to fix that. <laughs> Boom. Ta-da! Fun. So I am. So, okay. I am doing a lot of complicated things. I'm using component fields, but the way I'm doing it is using this paramsify, which creates the component fields dyna dynamically. And then I, I like turn this type into this into this type using this. Um but it's more user friendly. It's complicated, but it works. So you know, I'm not asking any questions, you know. Is it gonna, gonna like I think it's gonna generate some huge code or whatever. Okay. Also, what I want to move is the type. So I wonder if I can do this. First thing, you know what? Let's build this. See if that works. It does not work. Okay. No, because that's not used. Oops. Okay, what's going on here? Default values method. The default value of field method is to type const, but because const, you wait. Okay. 
Well, we might just type const const. Wait, we looked at const optional const. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. What's going on here? Uh, I don't like this. Default values of type. What am I doing? What am I even doing? <laughs> if this works, I'm gonna be shocked. Also, it's null terminated. Crap. As constituate. Mm. Mm, will that work? I think. <sighs> I think it's getting on my nerves. Like I'm bad at using it. <laughs> like I've seen people like um, around the internet also ask, oops, who are like, Zig is bad. Um, and the reason they think it's bad is because they don't know how to use it. That's like me, except I am I like I'm very self conscious. No, 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 I'm not self conscious. I'm very like introspective, I guess. <sighs> What's going on? Stop null terminating it. God. Uh, also, crap, I have to. Okay, oops. Scheduling thing. Um, so, so Travis, uh, do you know, perhaps know a fix for this? Um, because I am sad. Um, and not spam. You know what? Actually, that would work. Would that work? Let's hope that works. The amount of hacks in this code base is just. Invalid type. What do you mean invalid type given to spam? I think. <laughs> okay, you know what? That will not work. That sounds like it's an array. It looks like a pointer, I know. Then I just say, oh god. Okay, let's do that. Will that work? Then it's ultimated. Okay, that's not what I want. Can I just cast this? It wants to wait. Please? No? No? Okay. No. Wonder that's not pointer cast. Can I pointer cast this? Yeah, that, that is not a pointer true. Oh, I am struggling today. Oh my god. Um <laughs> So Travis, what do I do now? Oh, wait a minute. There's probably something in SEDOV that I'm missing. I could just use to remove that zero. That is not it. Sentinel something. Like that? That worked? No. What? Okay, I'm confused as shit. What's going on? I can't. That could not have worked without consequences. Because I might have been including that null zero at the end. I am not, no way. Is that, yeah, that worked. Nice. <sighs> so cool. So next thing I want to change is I want to move that little request notification thing at the start because it is annoying as shit. Also, uh-oh, what? Very good. Um, so I wonder if I could move this inside of here. And I wonder how bad Zig will scream at me, will scream at me, because what I'll be doing is I'll be doing this. Um, so can I use... I can just do this too, that works fine. That works fine, yeah, we're good. Nice. I can just literally remove this and use field. Ta-da, and we're done. Look at that, that is awesome. Okay. Um, also, that makes just like doing this and copying it so much easier, because then I can just do this. Copy these and then just remove params if I, 
and so I keep these two strokes in sync without like struggling. Okay. That's notification. So it's just pub const kind. Okay. Next is did open text document params. Notification. Did open is also notification. Wait, oh, I'm stupid. That is did open. Then we have completion, which is completion params. Also, that, that is not right at all. It's completion list. Um, I should have to, I should have to rename that sometime soon. So kind equals kind dot request. Then I have the weird workspace chain, which is also a notification. Wait, it's a request. That's not right. That is not right at all. Wait a minute. What is that called? To change workspace folders. That is so weird. Okay. Notification. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm being stupid. <laughs> Thank God I caught that. Also, be really confused. Um. Okay, and that should compile. It does indeed compile. Look at that. And if I want to update these, I can just do this. Copy this. Paste it here. And then I can just do this. Yeah, look at that. Um, I would be I would use com time, but again, like if you didn't see the stream yesterday, um, com time with uh, tagged enum unions is broken, so, oops, um, that's unfortunate. But yeah, so let me push that real quick. Okay, add. There we go. And so now we can actually start like actually writing things, um, in order properly. Also, I should really be linking the docs. I have to do that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Cancel request. Cancellation support. Look at that. I, I love just, I love doc comments. They're so much fun. Fantastic. Can I see the progress? Params. Club progress. That's not right. Progress support. It's got progress params, yeah. Where T is the type of token, right? Okay, that makes sense. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, these are both notifications, by the way. So I should really mention that. Kind equals params of phi kind dot notification. Also, I should rename this to request kind. But hey, it's fine. I'll rename that later. So progress params equals struct. Public constant method is going to be progress location. And this includes a token and value where token is integer or string. Okay. How do we do this for IDs? I think it's in common here somewhere. That is intuitive. Okay. Um, so here we want the value and token. Okay. I should really be including comments again. I want this to be a nicely documented server <laughs> and not like some spaghetti code like ZLS, which is, it's unfortunate that it became that difficult to maintain, but you know, that happens over time naturally. Can't do much about it. Um, okay. The base protocol offers report progress in generic fashion. The mechanisms can be used for report progress. Usually done, blah, 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 impartial report. 
Nice. Now let me include my docs. Also, I'm putting new lines in here because else it's unreadable. Okay, I can just do new line, new line docs. If only I could automate this, that would actually be super useful, but also it would take more time than actually doing it myself. There we go. Look at that. Obviously, value is going to be a problem. <laughs> Wait, T can be anything? What? Okay, that is not that is not good. Um T can be anything. I don't like that at all. Um hmm. Okay, that's a problem. For now, I'll just make a progress value type, and I'll just include some basic JSON types, because I'm not going to handle that right now. No, thank you. Um, also, wait, isn't this... Yeah, provided by the client or server. Yeah, yeah. It's joe.path, um, and you just put the path of uh, your compiled example. It's the LSP thing. I should have really made a readme. <laughs> so, okay, let's start with public const progress token. Struct, it's a union actually, union enum. It can either be a string or a number, is that correct? St integer or string, okay. Const two eight or nine sixty four. Also, I should really define the, okay. Let's go up here. I should really define all these types in common. Um, now I should use them <laughs> instead of using, instead of not using them. Um, an I sixty. Wait, JSON doesn't even support unsigned numbers. Um, so I can see that. Thanks LSP for not helping. Um, Okay, these are literally just symbolic because again, these are all just equal to number in JavaScript too. So like, what the heck? Okay, you know what? Thanks JavaScript, I'm not complaining. You know, if it works, it works. What can I say? Oh, look at those comments, look at that. That is gorgeous, okay. Abstract message, blah, 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 we don't need those. So we should definitely we should definitely comment those, but it's fine. Also, error, response message. Do we have error support? I think we have error support, right? We don't shit. <laughs> Oopsies. Hmm. 
Interesting. The Zig does not handle voids as undefined for some reason. That's annoying. Hmm. I have no idea how to handle errors. That's interesting. Also, I think Loris is on the stream. I see his name in the chat, in the chat thing. The box of viewers. I'm terrified. Also, that's oops, that's oops, I'm in the right, wait, am I in the right place? I am in the right place. So crap, yeah, we're missing errors right now. If the receiver request still needs to return to conform, the result of property of response should be released set to null. Wait a minute. Oh. Wow. That is so annoying. What the hell? Okay, that is going to screw me over bad. Because I literally cannot make undefined values in Zig, can I? Okay. Any cool comments that can help me here, or...? I don't think so. Hmm. I think it's sandbox time because I don't know how I could implement. I, I knew this day would come where I have to, have to use undefined in here. Um, because one of the first comments I had when I implemented ZLS was, um, I can't do undefined. Um, at least we had to use hacks around that. Like for error reporting in ZLS, we have literal, literal hard coded J uh, JSON strings. Uh, I think they're still there actually. Are they there? Wait a minute. They're there. Holy crap. They're still here. So see, this is the error thing here because we couldn't encode error. So we just hard coded these. Holy crap. I can't believe they still exist. We never removed these. What? Okay. These are amazing. These are, these are like, wow. So yeah, this is an example right here of hacky COVID should not be in production at all. Um, hmm. Also, I think we just never use these. Like, do we ever use these? Oh, we do use these a lot. Whoa. Interesting. Okay. We definitely need error handling up here. Now, the problem is how do I implement it? Let's find out. Let's just do conf js. Let's just do conf data in that file. JSON. We want to serialize JSON, so we can just do make a parse. No, we can simplify it. Oh my god, I'm going insane. Io dot gets to doubt dot writer const writer equals that, and I can just see dot JSON dot stringify stringify value. So what is the value? I can just make a ABC options stream. Oh my god. Okay, guys, go just dying right now. For some reason, if you skip like a uh, completion snippet thing. It'll just die out. I'm not sure what's going on about with that. Um, also, what options are there in Stringify? Indent level separator, output indent, white space string options. Why can't I add like a custom Stringify? Oh, that'd be so cool. Like just a global Stringify, like Stringify callback or something. I don't know. That'd be so useful. Damn. Hmm. See, what if there was, like, I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, this is driving me insane. <sighs> I 
Also, escape solidus? What is a solidus? What? That is hilarious. It's called a solidus. Okay. That is so strange. That should be renamed to Escape Slash, because that is not a user-friendly name at all. What the hell is a Solidus? Hmm. Anyways. I think this is going to be screwing me over badly. Crap. So, okay. Const abc equals struct. We'll have an a, you'll have a c, a, b, or something. Type void, and we'll have a var abc. And I definitely cannot serialize that. That'll give me an error. Yep. Wait. Oops. That's my fault. Now it'll give me an error. What? Hmm. So is it just broken for union enums? Okay. Experiment number two. Will this break? Because last time I took that, I took this, this was like horribly broken. Yep. That is so weird. Because it can stringify, okay, so this is a JSON bug right here. Because that, that is wrong. It can stringify... What? The heck? It can stringify voids in here. But not in union enums. Oh, I know why, because it can't, it can't go... <sighs> Because for structure, you're all you're on the field, so you can remove this. When, when it's serializing this, it's already written the field name, so you can't put it void in here because how how the parser is designed. Shit. Okay, that's a problem. Um. Hmm. See, here's the void check. Don't include void fields. Um. But obviously you can't do that unless you know the value of the field and you can't do that here crap hmm yep this is a design error right here for zig actually that's not true do 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 this does this use errors right here it might use errors to pass data um let me check because i think i saw some errors around here to pass data um Hmm. Maybe I was tripping. Nope, yeah, I was definitely wrong with that. <sighs> Crap, okay. Um, that's not good. If, if only with you were here to, to give me a crazy JSON hack, I could not imagine. Hmm. Hmm. No. Um, so that would just give me a null. And I can't do that because see, this member does not exist. Null is not an option. It has to be undefined. It has to be gone. Um, hmm. I could have like a response with error message or something. That would be nasty though. Oh. Come on. Come on. Undefined is what's stopping me. Like I I've I've surpassed all the hacks. I've used all the crazy code and then undefined comes in and it breaks everything. Can't believe it. Hmm. Uh, 
is on breaking my heart again. I can't believe this. Seriously, that is insane. And I literally can't do shit about it. See, because it writes the field name before checking the child. No, I'm trying, I'm trying to print. So see, if I do this. It's undefined, right? It's gone. That's what I want. But if I make a, a union enum. It craps out on me because of how the JSON project is designed, see? Cannot, unable to string if I avoid, because um, how this works, which is stupid. I, mean, I know potential fix, um, which would be, I, you know, I can do that right here, right, can't I? Let me see if I can just modify this, because if I can modify this, I can, I can make it an actual like, fix. This won't get accepted into, into STD, though, I think. Yeah. I, I, I could copy the JSON parser over to, like, um, my own thing, I guess. What I could do is check if the child type has a void. Um, that is hilariously hacky, but hey. Let's do this. So it's a union, uh, and one of the fields is of type void, and that field is set. Then we skip it. So that's easy. Hopeful. It's easy, because then I'm screwed if it's not easy. Okay, so of course we plot built in.zig. Find me the beautiful union. I want myself the fields, and I want myself the types. If that's the active field, because we have the type, right? We have the, we have the value. So... I like this. Um, and... What do I think of that? And for... Um, in line four, of course. And this will not get accepted in test at all. But hey. Um, Inline four field. My brain's crapping out on me. What's going on here? Oh right. That's you and equals that. Dot union. And then if I can just do union fields. Field. Then index. And I can compare these. So if I just say if uh union if enum to int of value is equal of field value equal dot holy crap also this is this is capitalized wrong but anyways dot name is equal to i that is not that is so dangerous that is so so dangerous that is not right at all that is dangerous as shit um but it should work for now Oh, I'm still streaming. I'm still streaming indeed. Welcome welcome to the stream, Hannah. Um, I'm doing JSON standard objects on hacks right now. But if it's equal to I and field, I'll say unfield by the way, because we have two fields. Dot field type is equal to void. Oh my goodness. Struct fields loop. Oh my god, okay. We continue struct fields loop and we can continue. And that works. Look at that. I just implemented a. Look at that. That is awesome. And so if I just do like A, B, Z, U, A, and I say. A, B, Z, like, 7 or something? What? 
Ten runtime block. No. Oh, what's going on? It was working and everything, and now it's broken. Um. I have to use a hack for this. True. Time control flow, but it's not. Oh, it is. Shit. Um, that's not good. Oh, it totally is. Oh, wait, I think I have to do double layer because this is com time. And then this is not comp time. Right, right. No, that is still comp time. Hmm. But this is an inline four though. Oh, I'm stupid. That won't work though, that won't work at all. That is not right. That's not a, that's literally not a room time block though. But what are you talking about? I am looping through literal com time fields. This is, this is not a com time block. Also, can I get the active key and just check it like that? Oh, that won't work at all. I have to rethink this. Hmm. Yeah, that works. Um. Okay, we're back in the old, in the yesterday situation. I was trying to get the current uh, tag from a union, tag union. So, you know, it's time for, uh, how do you do this? Anyone here know how to properly get the current tag from tag union and match it with an inline four? Because I don't. Um, hmm. I have no idea. Um, <laughs> well, shit, that's not good. Oh my God. They, they literally do it right here, don't they? Yeah, they do it right here. Wow. <laughs> they do it right here. Okay, wow. So if value is equal to field name. Yeah, so we're good. That's it. So we have our value. And value is just going to be field of field dot field type. It's just going to be value, value name. Is equal to field 
field dot field type uh, unfield dot name. Will that work? Of course, it won't work. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Oh, I think it's, it's time for a horrible hack here. Okay. So, yeah, I can't just continue because uh, I'm so stupid. I'm messing this up. So badly, it's obvious how to fix this. The way you fix this is by using a variable. I think, let's find out. I, I just did this like a few seconds ago, but. Unable to stringify type void. Hmm. Oh no, is this. Oh, this is a compound bug of like variable miss, like out of sync stuff. I've, I've seen this before. Runtime value. Yep. That's annoying. I am literally not calling it. What the hell? This will obviously be called because it's a hot path. Yep. Look at that. And that'll say runtime value because it's a runtime value. And therefore, it doesn't. It evaluates it and also doesn't evaluate it. Yep. Oh, come on. That is so annoying. Holy shit. There has to be a way to get this working properly, right? Come on. So inline four through fields. Um, obviously, I want to print the field type, but oh wait, easy fix. I can literally just add a void and make it a dead implementation. Then, okay, it's time for extra hacks. Um. Because I can literally just remove this by doing this. Look at that. And that is broken as shit. Nice. Um, That is so broken. Um, 
Hold okay. That's not good. So oh. typo August moment. That works. What if I do this? Ooh. That will break it, okay. Control for oh my god, it breaks again. Control for attempts to use Pile time variable at runtime. It does not. Why? This is a literal inline inline for loop. What do you mean? I'm allowed to do this. There we go. There we go. Ah, <gasps> does this work? No way. Let's see if my horrific hack works. Fuck yeah, look at that. That will never make it into the standard library JSON parser, but um hey. Yeah, that, that will that will totally never ever make it. That is a horrific look at this thing. Wow. Damn. So Union Child is what Yeah, that, that is how you implement a hor a horrible no good, you should never do this, uh JSON hack right here. Look at that. Also, crap, I have to revert this. I forgot this, this is my... This is the standard library implementation. I have to revert all of this. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Nice. Beautiful. I can just copy that. <laughs> oh yeah, custom based on parser moment. This is great. Um, honestly, I should PR this. The problem is um, this definitely doesn't pass the test it needs to pass to get PR'd. So, you know, I'll look into it in the future, but for now... Heck yeah, look at that. I think we import some Relatives, yeah, we do. Is right stream even used? Oh, it is. Uh, SD dot sig, no, SDD. Dot. Right stream. This is right stream lowercase. Okay. Oh. And now I have to replace every single zesty.json with just JSON. Holy moly, okay. Um that is a lot of <laughs> JSON to replace. Let's go in here and replace JSON. There. Come on, uh, see that JSON. Nope. Um. No. Requests. JSON. Nice. And we have the final one, which responses. And JSON. So <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about this this JSON change, but hey. I'll pair it sometime in the future. Unable to load. Crap. These are tech text test fixtures. Goodbye. True. I should move these back. That. That. And like that. There you go. Okay. And then finally, look at that. Oh, that's amazing. Okay. I, I love the standard library, honestly. It's just transparent. Like, dude, try to do this in Python and have fun. Like, good luck. Um, but it's like I can literally just open the source code and just take that shit and just do whatever I want with it. That's pretty awesome.
Anyways. Okay, that was a lot of work for a single undefined. But it's worth it. Look at that. None. Void. Come on. Like, virtual round of applause for that horrible hack I just created. Um, okay, anyways. Let's look for the docs. Back on track. We have a result, which could be a string number, boolean object, null. That's great. I should really, I should, I should really implement these. I'll say, yeah, I'll just call this none. I have a string, which is const weight, number, which is an i64, boolean, which is a boolean, and null, which is literally. I can make this nullable, hey, wait. Huh. That is a bad idea. Okay, first thing, who would ever. Use null. Oh, actually, hmm. Hmm. That is documentation wise accurate. So that, that's actually good. I like that. And I should really copy this. It's required on success member does not exist if there is an error in the method. Um, to make it not exist, use none equals this. Got to add those sexy docs into my thing. Look at that. Um, what else do I need? Quest ID, just on our PC, and error, in case request fails. Swaggy, look at that. Oop. Error is optional, so null. And I can implement response error now. Look at that. No crazy hard-coded string hacks in here to be seen. Um, and I have to implement the error codes as well. Okay. Also, the reason I'm not um, making string a constant is it has no, it has no symbolic value. I can just do this. I'm doing like special weird string, except for like the document you arise, which I will make strings. Um, but regular ass strings can just do, do that. It's fine. Response error. Also, it's actually called a response message, not response. Important note. Um, I don't know how I missed that. Wow. The LS code is extremely wrong then, because it messes that up. Um, that's fine. Response message. Nice. Data is an optional. It can be a lot of things. It could be a string, number, boolean, array, object, or null. Hmm. I wonder if there's a spec for the like nobody even includes the error information. Okay, interesting. So I will say that we will never use an object for this. Can be omitted. This is like pretty much useless. Someone uses it for some reason. I don't know why it exists. It's probably an extension. So for now, I'll put that on the side. I'll just do this. 
response data, response error data. Data equals union enum. Oh. Hmm. Oh, uh, what am I doing? Right. Number is an I sixty four. Boolean. That's an I sixty four. That's a that's a O seventy four. Oops. I sixty four. Boolean is a bool, and array is an array of something. So we'll literally just remove that. Goodbye. Um. Uh, adding to do on here. Okay, beautiful. Um, and again, I don't know what information would even be included here. The only useful thing I found was this. Aha. Look at that. And here are reserved error codes. These should never be used, apparently. So thank you for that useless information. What I'll do is I'll make this, an ex I'll make this a non-exhaustive enum then. Um, What is this thing called? Error code. Oh, very well named. Do that, look at that, that is cool. Make it non-exhaustive so you can add whatever error code you want in here. And get fancy. Um, oh my god, so many error codes. Who even uses these? Reserved error range. This is literally no one is ever going to touch this, but okay. You know what? Whatever. Let's snake caseify it. Remove this. Do that. Nice. Also, I can remove. A sentence, right? Is anyone going to use that? I don't think so. I'll leave it for now. That literally isn't a construct in SIG, so. <laughs> Deprecated use JSON reserved to range start. Okay. That is, I can't even implement that. Um, okay. Error codes indicating. And we have a literal unknown error code. Thank you. Very useful. So what the hell is this? It's like a mix of stair stair staircase. Snare case. Snake case. Holy crap. And um some weird mix of other stuff. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Um. Okay. Here's my cool little custom documentation format. Ah. Nice. Deprecated. Stop the deprecation thing. It's so annoying. Just like remove it. Big brain. Uh, okay, form snake case. Then we have this. Okay. That snake case. If I it. Um, and we have another error. So many errors. So much can go wrong. Also, ZLS implements a total of zero of these errors. Implements like weird custom errors and or otherwise it just randomly crashes so you know um that's the less for you so hopefully i'll be able to like re-implement the errors properly if i end up rewriting zealous with this which i probably will okay oh my god so this, this alone adds like 100 lines of code to this file yeah it does that is insane <laughs> that is not helpful
So I'm being distracted by just where now there's some cool drawings on here. There we go. Um, let's keep going. Snake case, I need a comma. I need to do this. Request cancel and the servers as the... There are literal typos in here. That's hilarious, okay. Um, typo detected. Weird, this is an error instead of a response because that is not an error, but okay. You know, pop off, I guess, LSP. I'm not gonna stop you from being objectively wrong. Oh. What? Oh, it's like when I've seen that before. It's like this has been channeled on the local drive or something. Yeah, I've seen this around. Not that I will ever use it in my life. Um, and that's it. Look at that. Sneak case. Back. Forward. And comma. Ta-da! Error codes. Uh, and that's it. Look at that. They're beautiful. They're nice and documented. Oh my god. Okay, I did forget the top comment though here, which don't it doesn't exist for some reason. Okay, actual comments sent as if a request does not provide a result. If I'm not the request is not provided for result and value of receiver of request still needs to perform the it's still needs to return a response to such conformity on the result of the result should be such a no in this case. This is the no successful request. Cool. That's it. And I can add a docs link. Yay! Docs in that. Look at that. Snazzy. <laughs> that is awesome. Also, there's a lot of code I should really push this. I should build this and push it. Oh, 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 there we go. Oh, I forgot that I, that I didn't implement that properly. Progress token, but not progress value. And progress value can literally be anything. Nice. Um, though the client will literally never send you a progress request. Um, because I've never seen one in my life handling any zig like zls stuff so also i love how um well documented this is, this is so well documented seriously though to do generic t used what the hell does that mean um and for now i'll just make it a string and a number is it called number or integer i thought it was confusing me i think it's called integer i don't know also i should really be using symbolics Build, please? Nope. Okay. Enum tag. <laughs> Already taken. Why are these overlapping? What? Okay. That is so annoying. These are literally the same error codes that are just... It doesn't... Oh. Oh, that, why did that even exist? <laughs> Not a real error code, okay. Thanks for the useless information.
We literally, we literally don't need that information. Goodbye. Okay, and I do need to include the doc link though. Because this is so confusing. Docs, and there we go. So we have a new error now. I'm not sure what's going on. Okay. Unable to stringify error code because it is a union and I did not, I mean, it's an enum. I did not enumify it. Oops. Let's fix that. Using namespace, common dot enum stringify this. Yay, look at that. Let's hope and pray this actually <laughs> that actually works because else I would be confused and conflicting. Conflicted. Rather. Does it work? Works? Completions? Completions. Nice. And it breaks. Uh, because I didn't mind to change. Nice. Look at that. Um fix so I'll say response. Fix it. error. It's actually available. <laughs> Oh yeah, true. Crap, 3,000 lines of code because of the JSON hack. Also, is the MIT stuff still up here? They removed it, okay. Code successfully stolen. No, I'm kidding. This is MIT license too, so it should be good. Um, Ziglib, Ziglsp. 12 stars, what? Nice, okay. That is a lot of changes. That is a, a lot, a lot of changes. Whoa. Okay. Cool. I am going to stream until like 8 30, 8 45. Um, because I have to do homework, unfortunately, because it's really fun, actually. Okay, scheduling thing, that should be good. Um, now part two is fixing everything else. So I just fixed responses, a lot of response parts. I still like have a lot of fix, obviously. Uh, also, the amount of comments in here is just outrageous. <laughs> um, but they're actually useful though, so I'm not complaining. So response message, let's scroll down. What comes after response? I think request comes after. Notification comes after. Notification is literally request though. We share, those share the same thing. Okay. Let's go back to requests. So for request we have progress token, we have cancel params. And we have absolutely no error information. So blah 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 blah. Request is up here, okay. Request ID method to be invoked with this params. Also it's called request message. Important. Nice. And of course, I've added the doc link for this. Um, I need to add these. One by one, because I already have comments here. Request ID. Method be invoked. Null indicates. I could use a void for here and just say none, right? Because there's, their notifications don't have any IDs on them. Yeah, that would work. Ah. Just put. I did. I did just push. Yeah. There's more cool stuff. You have fun looking into it. I'll just add a none here. Um. I'll say notification. Notifications do not have a request ID. There we go. Nice. Okay. 
What should I call this? Not a notification. I think none makes more sense. Clear as to what it is. Method is method invoked, I think. Is it method invoked? To be invoked. I'm not sure what weird tense programming docs use. They use like this weird tense, right? Like to be invoked, you would never say that in actual speech. This is interesting. I'll have to look into that. Anyways, param for its params. Is an array or object? Yup. And cool. Look at that. Documentation. Nice. That is the entire header. That's the base protocol implemented completely. That's it. So, nice. I think that's good. Let's build and then push that real quick. Like a micro push. It's like a padding, but hey. Also, crap. Request message. Request message. Unable to parse void. Expected optional. Oops, right. I forgot to remove this. Um, the what I'll say is if request.id equals none, um, panic cannot respond. Because if you get this far, you, you've already failed. Like, there's no going back. Um, and it coded bad. Code error. Oh, shit. What's going on? Unable to parse into type void. Hmm. Void is just so hated over here. I don't know why. It's just everyone hates void. I don't get it. What I can just say if it doesn't exist, then just do nothing. Will that work? Yeah. I think, I think that, I hope that works. Listen, be like, lost as shit. Um, that should be good. That is not good. That's, that's going to error so fast. I can feel it coming. It's going to error. It's going to error so bad. It's going to error so, so bad. Yep, right away. Look at that. Panic on reachable code. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I knew that was coming. Um, Because parsing void is a, it's a whole new beast. I have to implement parsing void. Crap. Okay. Let's parse us some voids. I think we have the same thing here. It parses void instructs. See? I bet, I bet it parses void instructs properly. But not anywhere else. Because that's totally a good thing. Um, Pars internal, okay. You think switches your stack bots the compiler? Oh shit, okay. Is that issue closed? Oh nope. That is such a weird, hilarious issue. Hmm. In optimizing my code, I broke it horribly. 
So it's time for Jason Hacks part 2, then I will be leaving because... Oh, this is so stressful. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, so where is the void parsing portion? Hmm. past my bedtime it is not i am busy working on this right now hmm okay it's time it's time to go back to the to the workspace to the sandbox um i actually remember my first ever zig pr if my second actually was this right here um yeah it was this because if I, if I remember correctly this was escaped to this and so it was broken as shit I, let me find it actually it was like a one character fix but it was like it fixed the entire json part it was kind of funny uh, oh hello there you go Yep, nameless field, I think. Oh, wait, no, 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 here it is. See, that was the fix right here. Um, it was just, like such a simple fix, but I just find it kind of funny. I'll say it was the escape solidus thing. <laughs> oh, I rebraced this like seven different times. the heck no oh. hey phd uh pulled this in that's kind of funny anyways um back to this time to hunt me some voids my least favorite activity because that is just it's awful so we can stringify voids but we cannot uh read them so oops uh oh that's cls so let's just do data equals embed file sample that to say json oops i'm so tired holy shit so we can parse this say abc token stream is ts and options is empty no nope, that's all right I'm token stream dot init slice data try we're not going to do it this uh let's just do var db equals try and then it's gonna be a log info db and that should break everything in parse internal Ooh, would that, would that fix it you know what? i'll try that fix out right now i tried it earlier and it did not work um Oh, what? Oop, oh, oh. Crap, I just copied this from my... Uh, I didn't copy it for some reason. Shit. <clears throat> I get sloppy when I get tired, unfortunately, but I'm still good at programming. <laughs> at the core, I'm still a good programmer, I think. Let's see. That did not compile because I'm running the wrong compile. There we go. So I want to try this out. First thing, const dbc equals the void. Oh. Oops. There. There we go. Okay, what's going on? Big time token stream. Uh, oops. 
There we go. Enable the Poison to Void. I think I can just do this. Wow. Uh, so small problem. Uh, first problem is void means no field. So <laughs> obviously that's gonna be a problem because it's not supposed to be parsed. So crap. Alright, you ready, ready for some JSON fun, Travis? Some fun? It's gonna be so much fun, I promise you. We're gonna have, we're gonna have a great time together. Okay, so... We... <laughs> I have to hunt for the logic and... Oh, this monstrosity. Look at this thing. What is this? Like, if you thought Stringify was bad, look at this. What is even happening? Oh, actually, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's so easy to fix. What I can do is literally just... Ignore the field. Right here. Or field dot field type equals none. That's it. I'm done. Right? I think I think that's literally it. Wait, 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 wait. And then I do this at the same time. And will this work? No wait. Oh crap, right. Um I do else if. Okay, right, look at that. Look at that. That works. <laughs> what? Okay, Travis. Okay, I don't know what to say. Oh my god, I I am the master of hacks of like horrible hacks you should never use. This is like. Look at this. What did I just do? That was hilarious. Okay. That works, hey. Now I wonder what happens if I have a Z field. Shit, wait a minute. I mean, this will never happen, but hey. How about how about a little break? Not at all, okay. Now what I want to do is actually make this work with union enums. Um, the same thing, same thing as last time, right? I want to have a Z and I have a, a union enum in here. A void B I64. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. So... I want an A that does not exist. I just, I just want it to not exist at all. No, like, oh, like this. So what will that do? That will break it, obviously. So I have to use the exact same hack as I did before, pretty much. See, right here. Except here it's gonna be a lot weirder. The idea here with the hack is I'm gonna have to... There, yeah, they're customized. They're, that's, that's a good word, I like that word. They're customizations, you're right. They're standard library enhancements. Uh, enhancements. Um, so for this, what I'm gonna have to do is check if the, holy freaking frick, I have to check if, actually it's so much easier, wait a minute. Just the amount of code gen for this would be nasty, but hey. I can just do if field, look at this, look at this, look at that. Also, there are only like five else in this entire file. That's hilarious. Um, anyways, look at that. Look at that. What I can do then is just okay. That is just amazing. So I can just say if type info of field dot field type is equal to dot union. Oh my god, this code is beautiful. This code is beautiful. Look at this. Um, and then if, if union child is not void, I return error. This is, this is, this is prone to just randomly break one day, but you know what? Screw it. I don't care. 
Also, I, I actually do wonder though how bad this is gonna break. Um, I assume pretty badly, but you know. Yeah, this, this is not safe. You should not be doing this, but okay. Ewan does not exist. Of course, it doesn't exist because I forgot to create it. Oops. There we go. Oh, value does not exist because of course it doesn't exist. Field value. I actually don't need this. Bam, that's it. That's the entire thing. Is that it? Wait. Oh, <gasps> that's it. Wait, is that it? That's on it. That's that, that's on it. That is technically correct, but what I want is this. No, that, that is correct. That's it. That's it. <gasps> it works. Look at that. Whoa, wait, wait. If I do this. Hmm, that's not right. <laughs> also, why why was A was A undefined? So wait, if I do that, what happens? Yeah, that, that breaks it, obviously. Um, oh, that's not good. That's not a good sign. Yeah, that is not right. That looks like it's undefined. Hmm. Oh, because I'm, I'm stupid, because I'm not setting it. True. Look at that. Except here we're setting. That's not going to work actually because it's a union. I think that'll work. Oh. Expected types void found type. Hmm. Oh, I'm stupid. There you go. Is that just, is this just a formatting error? Because that, that, that looks... Oh, oops. That'd be a formatting error. No. Hmm. What is that? Info void. I mean, we have void is void. Like, I don't have to set it to void. It's always going to be void. So that's fine. Uh, hmm. Now, my problem here, of course, is that it doesn't actually work as intended, so... Hmm. What's going on here? That's not right. Because if I just do this normally, right? If I say like, once do wait at 64, what happens? Oh shit, you know what? Let's do bool. Because I'll have to add an allocator and no way it's happening. I see that works. So I'm messing it up somewhere. Um, I think the void is messing it up. The void return. Yeah, just override something. Hmm. I was actually going to do that, like right now. That is a good recommendation. Um. Probably not that though. It's probably some logic stuff. Let's find out. If that works. Remove that. Oh, I can't do that. Yeah, that 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 still should not happen though. So it's a hack now. You see that that is not right. 
Um, <laughs> that is not right at all. Okay, so... Huh, let's look at this. Hmm... I think... Hmm... That's not... That should not be happening. Because the field is being seen. Like... The thing it should say here is true. It is being seen. Like... There's no doubt in my mind that it should be being seen. There's literally a Z field right there. Yeah, true. So why the hell is it setting it? To void. Huh. I think it could be this. Yeah, I think it could be that. Um... Okay, it's definitely that. I think, okay, I think it, it does like a try and fail check for this, right? Let me check. If, if there's a cache in here that I, I can... Hmm, I wonder. What is going on in here? Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, so, yeah, it shouldn't be running. Th that, this isn't the problem, though. That, exactly, that, that, that isn't the problem, though. The problem is up here somewhere. Um, because I think it's parsing, the, see, it's parsing this, this here, right? So I think, I think that's right, right? Yeah, yeah, it's parsing it before arriving. Hmm. The amount of hacks. Yeah, that, this isn't the problem. We can remove that entirely from the problem formula, whatever the hell. The problem is right here. So I think what's, what's happening is we're parsing to a union. So we can skip this struct stuff. We're parsing to a union. And <sighs> yes, yeah, see, 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 exactly, exactly. Yeah, I was right. I was right. See, it's it's a try and fail. It tries one. If it fails, then it just see. If it fails, it catches it. See, 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 see. Oh my God! If it fails, it catches it and then tries again until it works. And so what's happening here is because. The solution here is to make this always fail, because you will never run into a void. Big no-no. Did that, that, that work? Oh. What? Aww. <laughs> you know, unexpected token. I can't use a custom error for this unless I modify the error set. What? What's going on? Hmm. That's weird. 
It's not, it's not letting me return that error for some reason. What the hell? That is insane. Okay, the, these these hacks are absolutely outrageous. I, I don't know what's going on, but <laughs> used to avoid infinite recursion. Like, okay, wow. Um, like, what do I do here? It's literally not letting me return an error. So I I don't know what to do. Why is it not even letting? I, I, I don't know. Okay, thoughts on this. I don't even know what's going on. Like, <laughs> I know how Zig errors work. Like, that is literally the exact same error. What are you talking about, Zig? What is going on? Wait, do you want... Uh, um, how long can it require it? Okay. See, it works, it, it works right here. Look, 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 it's right there. Like, it's in the same function. Don't tell me this is a weird zig, like, internal weird error thing that I'm running into, because I will suffer. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, you're right. 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 You caught it. You caught it. Yep. Thanks for the save again, Travis. Uh, big no no. I can actually have my, oh, my custom error is here now. Beautiful. Look at that. Heck yeah. Look at that. Big no no is in, is in, is back. Okay, I'm sorry. I that was like one of the worst hacks I've ever written in my life. Wow. I don't know what I just wrote, but whatever that was, I don't want to write it ever again in my life. That was that was a new level of bad. Let's see, let's see if that works. Fuck it doesn't work. Shit, it doesn't work. No, what's going on? An error function has really changed. Yeah. STD data needs to be nuked for this planet. Like, it is so bad. I'm sorry. Like, whoever wrote that, like, damn. Um, the hacks in here are, like, next level. I think I think it's probably, like, one of the hackiest files in STD, right? Like, look at this thing. Um, uh, it's still broken, though. I'm not done. It's still broken. How is it still broken? I know why it's still broken. Shit, I know why it's still broken. I know exactly why it's still broken. I was talking about this earlier, and I was like, actually, I, I don't have to, I do have to do this, though, I'm stupid. Oops. Field.name equals void. I totally have to do this. That is, that is, that is my fault. My bad. Here. Hmm. That should be working. I'm not sure what's going on. <sighs> what? Oh, I know what's going on. I know exactly what's going on. Wait. The problem is it's void, so I think see, this is a zig bug. It's a zigbug. I, I, I can feel it. It has to be a zigbug. Because I bet the value of B is void. I bet. I bet. I bet. Is it void or is it undefined? Something. It just fucking breaks. It's gonna crash. It's gonna crash. Yep. Panic. Inactive. What? Inactive? Oh! 
Okay, so wait, wait. This is it's in the bug and log dot info. It's it look look because. Oh wait, holy shit! Wait, I just found a new bug. I just found a bug in log dot info. See, it says B because it doesn't realize that void and unset are two different things. No, 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 no. Like it's a bug in in this because the thing is it's like oh it's void so it has to not be that it's the first one, but because look A is doesn't exist it's here but B does. I mean oh shit other way around. It's a sd.log.info bug. It's a, it's a it's a print bug. It's like a format bug. Um, look, it's a format bug entirely. Like, that is a correct union access right there. Yep, it's, it's, a, it's a formatting bug. I can't believe this. I found like a multiple zig bugs today, just by accident. That, that should give me an error right there. Shit, doesn't give me an error. Fuck, fuck, fuck. That's not good. What? What is going on? So wait, wait. A, oh my god. Oh my mind. A is always defined. Oh, okay, okay. So that, that's why sd.log.info is bugging, right? Because it's like, oh, A is always defined. It's always active, even, even though it's not active here. But it's active because it can only have one value, which is void. I think I think that I think this actually breaks uh, tagged unions. Wait a minute. This might break tagged unions. If so, then I, then I have a bigger problem than just JSON because I will not be fixing this. Um. Damn. <laughs> That is not good. That is not good at all. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Okay. This is going to save void, isn't it? No, see, and that works. Look, and then that's probably... What is going on? That works. Okay. So... <laughs> The active tag isn't void, but I can still access void because void is always void. That should definitely be uh, like a compile error because that is not something you should be able to access or do. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Um, also, what happens if I do null? I wonder, will it crash horribly? I hope it does, because so I'm screwed. There you go. That's good. So we're good. We're good. Yes. Extra hacks are to tonight. Extra hacks. So watch this horribly break um, the LSP in unimaginable ways. Watch. This is like completely wrong. Um, it's gonna be it's gonna be horribly wrong. It's gonna break everything. But also, yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't need you in it actually. Oh, actually, um, that could work. I'll test it out later. But for now, let's see if this actually fucking works because. I am stressed out. Almost a two-hour mark. You know, when I reach two hours, like in a few seconds, I'll stop. We'll see if that works. <laughs> it works, and it crashed. It opened, didn't it? Oh wait, request completion failed. Shit. Oh, 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 it's a void, it's a void error, shit, shit, shit. Oh, no, 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 we're fine. It's a cancel request. We're good, we're good, it's okay, it's all good, it's all good. I, I just pressed too fast and I canceled the request by accident. Okay, last test and then I just stopped for tonight. Um, but try that again, this time slowly, so I don't cancel anything where it's accident. Okay. We good? We're good. Ooh. Good. That's it. It works. <sighs> wow. That was fun. Uh, you know, productive stream. We hacked JSON.zig. We created this nightmare. I mean, yeah. <laughs> wow. Um, 
Also, I should really, I should really be logging this as well. Um, I'm gonna do that now. I want to see if this is actually working properly because I'm gonna have a big problem because then I'll have bad information. Also, yeah, uh, Megan and Travis, you're totally right. Not using Union in it does some weird stuff. So that, that could be the fix for it. Um, totally. See, look at that. Request ID none because it's a notification. Look at that. Boom. And the reason it's not is because there's no ID. Look at that. None. No ID. And here there is an ID. Where is it? Here's an ID and there's an ID. Look at that. Wow. You know, thanks for joining along. That was really, really fun. The Collective 2, we implemented a few things. Um, actually, we didn't, we didn't implement much. We just fixed some stuff that it's actually, like, correct we implemented. Which honestly is better than adding stuff. Like, if your space stuff doesn't work properly, you have a bad time. So, yeah. Yeah, pretty cool. I'm pretty proud of what I did tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, yeah. Except for hacks. Except for hacks, I agree. Okay, okay. You know what? Let's compare. Do you prefer this oh where is it do you prefer this oh no no, no. do you wait, wait so do you prefer this with like a nun in here or do you prefer <laughs> let me find it <laughs> let me find it do you prefer this or you use pre-dart get look at this and then you have to manually parse it using a, like a weird function in request.zig we have to use this to manually parse it Look at this. Honestly, my hacks are this is this is all custom from from Alex. This is all custom. Look at this. Look at that. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Oh my! Look, it's literally called hack done. Yeah, honestly, I think also this you literally can't implement these because um, some of these require like error handling and stuff. I mean, yeah. Also, look at that. Not implemented. That's hilarious. You have some cool, some weird stuff here. But yeah, like, honestly, compared to this, I'm proud. Because mine is, is actually general general purpose. It's useful for other people. So yeah. Pretty cool. Also, I will be pushing this right now. It's usually better. I agree. It might be, actually, it's, it's actually way faster, probably. Because I'm not, like, mm, I wonder if it's faster. I, honestly, I don't care at this point. Like, so it's, what, like a nanosecond difference? Whatever. Uh, I'll say, we'll change this. Oh, that's a bad description. I'll just say, document more. Uh, increase correctness of request response message. Bam. Thank you very much for joining me tonight. That was really fun. Um, you know, hopefully I can do this again sometime this week. This next weekend, maybe. I, I don't know. Um, you know. Stay, stay Ziggy with it. I don't know. Um, go Ziguanas. Uh, <laughs> yeah, have, have a good week too, uh, Travis. Um, and you know, you know, uh, you can also like, uh, you could, uh, you know, do, do a brother a favor, you know, and like, uh, you know, you know, you could like, you know, give give it a star or something if you liked it. You know, just saying. And not not you, Travis. This is I'm like Megan. You already have a star here, but like you know, Megan, if you're watching this, you know, like. Uh, anyways, good night, good morning. I don't know, good afternoon, uh, wherever y'all are. Um, and see you sometime soon for hopefully more ZLL stuff uh, and more language server stuff. Uh, bye. Thank <laughs> you.